ang ating pagbubulay-bulayan sa umagang ito ay magmumula sa Matthew chapter 18 verses 15 to 20. At hayaan yung basahin. If your brother or sister sins, go and point out their fault just between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them over. But if they will not listen, take one or two others along so that every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If they still refuse to listen, tell it to the church. And if they refuse to listen even to the church, treat them as you would a pagan or a tax collector. Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. Again, truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where there are two or three gathered in my name, there I am with them. Naway pagpalain tayo ng pagkabasa ng verses na to. Sa umagang ito, ah, ang aking pagbubulay-bulayan ay manggagaling sa verse 18 kung saan sinabi, Verily I say unto you, whatever so you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The series this week kasi centers on remembering your journey out of darkness into the light. During the course of the week, no, ang pumasok sa akin was kung bakit naalala ko yung poem ng Invictus. No? It was a poem that had come to mind on how dark, kano kadilim, it can be for us who do not know how God works and is central to our salvation. No? Bakit? Sabi nga nila. Remember in computer lingo, garbage in, garbage out. So ang question is, what holds us back? No? What is it that makes it hard for us to move on? Remember, di ba? Naalala ko ang poem ng Evictus, Out of the dark that covers me, Dark as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. It was a poem written about life and death and the darkness that one man encounters in his life no? until he says to himself, my unconquerable soul. And why makes it unconquerable? No? Yun nga eh, sabi nga nila, what holds you back? What makes that soul unconquerable? Naalala ko yung story once, uh, I talked about, I read about this man, no? a story of a, a man who was going home for Christmas. Papunta, pasakay siya ng bus na alam naman natin, di ba, pag uh, Christmas Eve lalo na, punong-puno ang mga bases, kulang na mga bases, sobra-sobra ang mga tao. This man had with him so many things with him, nung nagkagulo na paakit ng bus, may mga na, may mga bagay siya na, na alam mo yung iba-ibang bag na tamaan at nahulo. So, ang nangyari sa kanya kesa sumakay, bumaba pa siya ulit para ayusin yung gamit niya, no? So, sobrang yung pag-asikaso dun sa mga gamit na naiwan niya para maibalik lang niya. Dahil gusto niya, dala niya yon He missed his chance to go home that night on Christmas Eve. I often use that story kasi parang yun ang sinasabi ni Lord sa atin. Garbage in should be garbage out. Ano ba ang dinadala natin sa buhay natin? What memories keep you hold, keep you from moving on? Di naman natin sinasabi kasi ang uh, memory should be uh, only good. Keep the good, leave the bad, no? Sin oh. But then sinasabi rin dito is, What memories do you take with you as you move on? 
Kaya nga nung story of the man who was boarding the bus. Late na siya eh. That traveler was struggling to reach his destination. Ang kaso nga, marami siyang gustong dala. Kasama. Marami siyang bagay-bagay na stops him from moving on. Alam mo ako, I had this strange dream always, no? When I'm about, when God is about to tell me to leap into another adventure. Ang dream ko palagi is kung bakit hindi ako makapasok sa pintuan at kung makapasok man at umabot man ako sa banyo or a shower, no? kung bakit naalala ko bigla, I'm on my way to work, hindi ako makaligo. Kulang ang shampoo, kulang ang sabon, kulang ang whatever. I'm on my way to to travel, kung bakit nasa airport na ako, nakalimutan ko pa ang passport at ticket ko. No? When I, uh, When I re- look back and sabi ko, what does that dream mean to me and my journey of faith? I realized na I was carrying too much baggage. Garbage. I was letting things that I thought was important in my life. Instead of moving on as the Lord wants me to. It's holding me back. No? So, sabi ko nga eh, um, garbage in, garbage out, diba? When I decided to pick up my cross again, then, in October 2014, as a birthday gift to myself, I thought I was ready to be in the forefront. But I found myself overwhelmed with work and family issues. I realized I had too much baggage to do. So I started stripping them layer by layer, one day at a time. And I started relearning a lot of things at church. I had to go back to Bible studying, Sunday school, priority, priority ko ang devotional journals ko. I started to read more, listen more, and cried more. I was, it was in the heartwarming encounter in April 2020-2016 that had me unload the final layers of my garbage and that after that day never looked back I remember that encounter I cried I felt sorry for myself but above all I let go of a lot of garbage emotional garbage family issues no? I started to look at it at a different perspective that after the encounter, sabi ko, ang gaan ko, it, I must have lost several kilos. Kasi nga, I was trying to strip myself of garbage. I realized I could not boast pa of my earthly accomplishments because people forget them anyway. No? What they remember about you is how you stood side by side in pain and in taking baby steps towards God's plan for you. What they remember is how you help them. What they remember is kung ano yung mga moments na kung saan nakatulong ka sa kanila. Yun ang naalala nila. I was not ready to retire a few years back, but God had plans. He started to tell me that the door he had opened then would lead me to another door. Each time the light was getting to be clearer and brighter. Those I considered I needed was no longer important. My time spent with my apo in Doha proved that much. I realized that there were a lot of things I wanted to do with my family, for my church, and for myself that I couldn't do because I was always telling myself, no time, no money, kailangan kong gawin ito, kailangan kong gawin ito. When I started rearranging all of that, you no. Know, and thinking na sabi ko, is this important, is this not? I was suddenly happier and I realized what meaning, what the meaning of joy is, not just happiness. I wake up unburdened by earthly tasks and lovingly carried out my devotionals. My unconquerable soul was materializing before me. While I am, sabi nga nila at the end of that poem of Invictus, I am the master of my faith. I am the captain of my soul. But 
in my journey of faith at hanggang ngayon nung aabot na na-realize ko no while I am the master of my faith God is the captain of my soul I was busy steered in he was be I was being steered in the right direction of the Lord and I always say after that thank you Lord maybe because yun nga sabi ko I was not ready to listen and when I was when I started to realize I was ready to listen and accept I was hearing answered prayers one by one and I realized nga sabi nga dito sa verse na to no I say to you, whatever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Anong importante sa buhay mo? Ano ang kailangan mo to move on? Ano ang kailangan mo? Under the COVID-19 environment ngayon, iniisip natin, kailangan ko ito dati ha? Marami tayong iniisip na I need to go this way, I need to go that way. Tapos biglang all of a sudden, we're stuck at home. After realizing, kailangan ko maglinis ng bahay, kailangan ko ng ganito, kailangan ko ng ganyan. What else is new? What was supposed to be just one month extended to two, three, four, five months. Stuck at home. And na-realize, this is the best opportunity at this point. No? It's when you are given more time now to pray given more time now to reflect given more time now to think what is important to you the question is after COVID-19 what do you plan to do? ano ang dapat mong gawin? ako tinanong sa akin yan after the heartwarming encounter what do you plan to do? after stripping yourself for the Lord letting go of a lot of things that you thought was important in your life and telling the Lord Lord this is me I'm sorry I'm not perfect but you are one who can tell me exactly how I can be in your eyes not the eyes of people looking around no hindi sa pamilya mo hindi sa church mo what is important is how you are looked upon by the Lord personally and believe me marami pa kong bagay pa na kailangan natin i-bind dito sa mundo para naman kasama natin ito sa heaven but marami rin tayong dapat ipakawalan para naman din ma-realize natin kasi na hindi natin kailangan to pag tayo papunta na ng heaven so, yun ang aking reflection sa araw na to. Don't let garbage, no, really, technically, garbage talaga. Emotional, physical, financial garbage. Stop you from looking for the Lord. Stop you from being a child of God. Stop you or hold you back from moving forward. We are in a race not to compete with anybody else but to compete with ourselves. We are in a race to show uh, to ourselves that God had a plan. He was we were tearfully and wonderfully made and sabi nga nila dapat natin realize why. So remember and that is how we will end this journey and this week i hope na uh, you will always look back and say what do you remember the good or the bad and remember both but what is best is pag naalala mo kung paano mabuti ang panginoon sa iyo at kung alin doon ang mas importante para ikaw ay tumuloy at aminin sa sarili mo na you are imperfect but perfect in the eyes of the lord Maraming salamat sa inyong patuloy na paggabay sa amin sa Prayer Covenant Series. Samahan niyo ko sa dasal. Panginoon namin, sa umaga nito, patuloy kami nagpapasalamat sa inyong kabutihan, sa inyong 
kaparaan ng Panginoon upang kami ay isa-isang nag-aalis ng mga bagay-bagay na nag hindi lang Lord nakakabigat sa amin kundi nagbibigay sa amin ng justification Lord not to follow you said pick up your cross and follow me it's not easy Lord hindi madali ngunit alam ko Panginoon na kayo ay patuloy na nagkagabay patuloy na nag-aalalay patuloy na naghihintay para sa amin naghihintay Lord God na kami magsabing Lord help me Lord I am not perfect in anybody's eyes but you alone can make me perfect in your eyes help Lord and then at the same time thank you Lord thank you very much for not forgetting me thank you Lord na hindi mo ko iniwan Thank you, Lord, na patuloy akong muusad, Panginoon. Hindi para lang sa sarili ko, kung hindi para i-honor, Lord, ang inyong kabutihan sa akin. Maraming salamat sa inyong patuloy na pagpala at gabay. Ito po ang aming dalangin at ang aking hangal sa pangalan ni Jesus. 